Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here doing the weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is for the week of December 19th till the 26th. So Merry Yule to everyone. With the Sun and Moon moving through Sagittarius the weekend of these readings, I'm going to be doing the theme of being blunt <laughs> for your reading this week. So this is a general reading for your sign. Whatever is most prominent in your life, I encourage you to take these messages and apply them to. And I hope that you find them helpful in healing. So what does Sagittarius need to be blunt about this week? Hmm. I really want to thank everyone who has watched and subscribed and liked my videos all this time and who leave just incredibly kind comments and um, very sweet messages um, since April, since I've begun this. Thank you so much for encouraging me to do this work and for being here and for hopefully benefiting from this. I do this for you and I'm just so grateful that it helps in some way. So thanks to each and every one of you for this. I do want to let you know briefly that I will be back uh, the second week of January. I'll be taking the Yule time season off, so I hope that everyone is well during that time. Um, and I'll be introducing different content uh, in addition to more oracle readings for your sign in the new year. So I hope that you join me for that as well. So my dear Sagittarius, what do you need to be uh, blunt to yourself about? Well, if anyone is able to be blunt, it is the Sagittarian, him or herself. So you're ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is an expansive planet, right? It's the largest planet in the solar system. It's the planet of the optimist. It's ever expanding. It is the glass is half full. It's also not only the philosopher, but it's the skeptic. Now there's a nice distinction between the skeptic and the cynic. The skeptic says, I want to know and I'm willing to discover even if it upsets what I already believe. The skeptic, uh, sorry, the, the cynic won't even look, right? So this is what separates you from um, cynicism. And if you find yourself trapped in a, in a type of um, spiritual, psychological, emotional cynicism, you're going to want to um, upset that for yourself. That will be your job. Uh, Sagittarius because you're looking your main goal here this week to be blunt is to use your imagination right you really do want to be the questioner you want to be the philosopher uh, including your own beliefs and values and systems and habits and even outcomes here imagine is a very powerful card because it allows you to tap into your co-creativity right um, and it also allows you to be positive, uh, to stay, say, you know, optimistic about whatever you will find. And remember as well, and I believe this is a biblical term, but I mean, it is uh, apropos. And that is, you know, seek and you shall find. This is just, it's a truism. It doesn't matter what book it comes out of. It's a truism. If you seek betterment for yourself, you'll find it, okay? If you seek something awful in any area of your life or in the world at large, you'll find it. It's just the nature of the beast. So I think it might be a nice week for you to be blunt about how you're using your imagination. I think that you've been doing a great deal of personal work, uh, probably within your employment sector for the past several months here. I think you've been developing um, quite significantly in um, public areas of your life. I think it would be a nice week, perhaps even the next two weeks, Sagittarius, to use your imagination for something that has nothing to do with perceived gain, which is an interesting way to go about this, right? I mean, who wants to work hard on something that you're not going to get perceived gain out of? Well, Sometimes what we perceive as gain is in the material world. In fact, most of the time it is. This is why we live in what we call a rat race, right? Um, if you use this imagination power around your spiritual, intellectual, emotional, or even psychological development here, I think that you'll be greatly uh, pleased and surprised at what you come up with um, because you'll better your own life and you'll have um, benefits that you couldn't have even have considered 
because it's not spoken about so much in um, popular programming or in media um, or even organized religion as it were, uh, if you happen to be a religious person. If you're a spiritual person, you're gonna find this an exciting route to take. So let's be blunt about how you're using your imagination, about fulfilling um, your deepest desires and wants that have nothing to do with the material world. Here with building blocks, this is where we're seeing, this influences your current position. This is where we're seeing you've been doing a lot of work here already. You already have a foundation here. If this is something that you are doing that has nothing to do with the material world, for example, keep going in this direction. You've probably already got experience using your imagination to your greatest benefit uh, uh, right now. So keep going in that direction. Keep your optimism around this area. Um, building blocks is also asking you to look at what already exists, right? Uh, perhaps there's something you can inject in here that would switch things up or you have new information or data or you have an education or you have experience here now that's going to switch up something that you've already been building for however long uh, as a project or a lifestyle. Um, so remember that you are a co-creator of this. You're not stuck with anything. If you think big and you dream big and you seek um, possibilities, right? Very good possibilities for yourself. This is what you'll find. Here with Clean It Up, this is where we're asking to get rid of what doesn't work for you. And what a great time to do it is uh, just before uh, our new year approaches, okay? Um, it's a nice time to get rid of especially emotional or psychological baggage here. In fact, this could be, the next week or so could be a really nice time for you to use your imagination to your benefit in terms of what you're willing to let go of, right? And in order to do that, we all really, all of us, need to get to the root of what it is. So here we do have this little guy holding up sort of the sweeper up to the sky here. And it could feel a little bit daunting to do this, right? So we do have, I believe this is an elk or maybe even a reindeer here. So it could be like you feel like you're under the gun. You're under pressure here um, to do something in a timely manner. But again, this is probably going to feel or it's going to... Um, manifest in the physical world. This isn't an emotional blockage. This isn't necessarily a psychological blockage. It's just something that you haven't had time or have taken the time um, to do a bulk of work in this area. So it could be a nice time over the next two weeks to get rid of emotional or psychological baggage. Um, but the uh, you know, the best way, of course, to get to the root of that is to identify it. And here we have TikTok. It's really just saying time is on your side. This is both time and timelessness. This is about being in the right place at the right time. Uh, if we can recognize that we are very fortunate to be where we are right now, despite not, quote unquote, having everything we want, everything we think we want, all these things, right? Especially if it's accoutrement, especially if this has to do with the material world. Um, if you have a home and running water and food and someone to love in your life, whether that's platonic or romantic, you are really ahead of the game, Sagittarius. So it's a beautiful time to count your blessings and to share your blessings. Um, you're also one of the most um, exuberant signs that I've uh, read about or have met. Now, Leo, um, another fire sign, gets usually in, is talked about as though they are the most exuberant um, but and they are Leo's are exuberant they're really in your face they're the life of the party so to speak right but there's something about the Sagittarius that is exuberant and bubbly like I said I mean that in other videos about this um the Sagittarius can tell you the truth while giving you a hug right and that actually makes them the best friend that you can have okay um, they're actually on your side and you need to be certain here Sagittarius that you're on your own side Okay, you want to really be a best friend to yourself and love yourself like you love other people because you do so much and you are such a good friend so um, be sure you're allowing yourself to feel your own beautiful bubbly exuberant friendship and to be blunt with yourself in a kind way, okay, with a hug. Here we have loyalty. What a beautiful way to uh, card here to end the year with. 
this is loyalty. This is um, knowing who is by your side, knowing who you can trust, knowing, knowing why you're loyal to somebody and what that loyalty means to you. The only caveat here is that we have loyalty um, sometimes up against honesty. And again, under the auspices of being blunt um, and during the influence of the moon and sun moving through Sagittarius, it's, it's a really important time here as well to decipher for yourself, are you being loyal to something that is outdated or the time is up? or uh, it no longer uh, serves a purpose, right? And here, this is going to match the clean it up. This is a really nice time to say, you know, well, what am I loyal to? Loyalty is very important. It truly is. I don't mean to steal from the importance of loyalty, but you wanna be sure here that you're honest with yourself about what you're loyal to and why. You wanna get rid of old energy, old uh, concepts, beliefs, patterns, behavior, etc., And you wanna be loyal to the truth, right? Uh, because this is highest energy. Truth is highest vibration energy because it's related to love. Look at this intention. 100% my dear, my dear Sagittarius, listen, nothing can hold you back, first of all. You're actually, if it's not obvious by now, one of my favorite signs. Um, the world is better because of you and you're doing great work. <laughs> so continue with your positive um, skeptical but loving and um, truthful pursuits, okay? Your intention is pure here. And if you have any question about your intention, you're going to want to come to terms with this, okay? You want to have pure intention about where you're headed here. But I see nothing but the best for you, Sagittarian. I've been reading for you since April. I know that you have more often than not uh, the best of everyone's interests at heart. Um, and, and you are bubbly and you are exuberant. So we all benefit from that. So continue going in the direction you are. Just be sure to let honesty and truthfulness lead. You will, you will um, become loyal to what is truthful. And that is probably the most powerful that anyone uh, can become. And it's um, the most positive light that we can share with the world here. So I personally appreciate it and I'm wishing you all the best with this. So if you have a second, comment below. I love hearing from you. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, it really helps me out that you do that as well as liking and sharing my videos. So until we meet in the new year, my dear Sagittarians, take excellent care. Bye for now.